Today on Living by Design. Many of us think we're part of the solution, but we're really part of the problem. What do you need to do better to be successful? That's who you measure yourself against yourself. Hi, I'm Kathy Holloway Hill, and do you make excuses for your life? Do you always play the victim role? We have an individual here today who has committed his life to making sure that every person has the resources that they need to stop the excuses. And that is none other than the amazingly wonderful <laughs> Mr. Robert Jackson. He is a motivational speaker. He's an international speaker. He's an author. He is a community advocate to make sure that you live by design. Robert, welcome to Living by Design. Well, Kathy, thanks for having me today. I feel I'm excited to be here. I am excited to have you here because you are all over the place and you do so many wonderful things for our community. And first of all, I want to say thank you. Oh, well, thank you. And yeah. thank you for the work that you're doing for our women. Well, I appreciate that. doesn't go that. unnoticed. I appreciate that because yeah. you know, as well as I do, our community needs us. Absolutely. There's so many things that, that we really need to do. So yeah. let's just talk about your work overall, because I know you do a lot of national work, a lot of international work. You've sure. written books, you're an author, you're mm -hmm. your you're empower mentor and a speaker. So talk about your work. So your company is called? Uh, Nova Concept Speakers okay. and we own LaBelle Publishing as well. We self-publish our materials. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Nova Concept Speakers is a speakers bureau where um, we go out and speak in different events. Mm -hmm. um, but our main goal is to deliver solutions. Excellent. We want to be a solutions base organization because you get so many companies talking about the problem we want to be a part of the solution so we're trying to bridge the gap between educators parents and students that's what the main focus of our organization is so when I travel and speak I'm traveling I'm traveling to bring in the truth but also bring solutions I want to leave them with something that they can do once I leave I love that yeah. I so love that and and I've got to talk about this book now you said this was your first book yes my first book no more excuses uh, black men stand up and and basically you know growing up here in Indianapolis growing up in Brightwood I didn't see a lot of positive uh, men of color yes um, I seen men of color who were selling drugs who are pimping women and doing all kind of other negative stuff. I didn't really see a lot of positive men, but we expect our men to grow up in society and be positive men in our own communities. Mm. And we don't have a lot of models to that. So now that I have a son who's in high school and I have a daughter and now you I'm married with well, I have a son in high school. Lord. He's taller than me, six two. Man. Straight A student. Oh, wow. And now that I have my own son, I, I wanted to put something together. First of all, I wanted to deal with my own pain growing up, yes. growing up in a, uh, with abusive stepfather, growing oh, up in a community of poverty, and, and it was poverty stricken, and we didn't have a lot of positive things to look forward to. So I put this book together to teach men to stop making excuses. It's time for us to take our families back, and it's time for us to step up and be men of God and do what we're supposed to do as men, whether we're, as a husband, as a father, as a community activist, we need men stepping up being men because iron sharpens iron. And there's too many weak brothers out here. And mm -hmm. I am so glad you're saying this, Robert, because we, in my opinion, I am seeing a community of entitlement. Sure. Too many individuals, especially our young people, they feel entitled. Yes. Like they're supposed to have this mm -hmm. and they're supposed to have that, but they're not doing anything to help themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, they make bad choices and bad decisions and the resources are there, yet they don't use the resources. Sure. And then they say, oh, woe is me, I'm a victim, this mm -hmm. and that. So I am so happy to see that you have written in the title, No More Excuses, Black Men Stand Up. I absolutely love it. And I'm I'm going to ask you this at the end, but I'm going to go ahead and ask you now, where can we get this book? Uh, they can go to my website, robertjacksonmotivates.com, and okay. pick up a copy. Okay. So it's pretty simple. And when I look through some of the chapters, oh, my goodness, it is amazing. <laughs> Are you a man or a boy? I mm -hmm. love that. We have some grown men being boys, so we got to challenge them to do better. Don't we? And this is not a put-down book. It's just a book that's going to challenge us to be uh, better men. In our society, better men of God, yes. keeping God first, and yes. then taking care of our wives and our families. But many of us have to learn how to take care of our wives and learn how to take care of our children don't because we, don't we? we didn't have examples. Yes. I mean, what positive examples did I have? I had a stepfather who didn't half go to work. Yes. You know, he wasn't a he wasn't taking care of the family like he should have been. I was paying bills 
10, 11 years old, you know, carrying papers and cutting grass and I'm paying bills and, you know, I didn't, you know, I missed part of my childhood because I had to grow up quick, right. you know, being the only boy in the house. So um, I want to challenge other young men and seasoned men right. to be better men of God, be better men in our community. And that's one of the reasons why I put that, put those materials together and also deal with my own demons. Yes. Um, you know, I wasn't, you know, the best person and I had to make some changes in my life and I made some changes for the better. So God didn't bless me to keep it to myself. He blessed me to be a blessing. So that's why uh, we put the book together. And, and you know, I believe you, you said something that, that just really struck me and it's about men being the head of the household, men sure. being better husbands. The Bible says that a man should treat his wife like Jesus treats the church. Yes, that's true. And when you have a, 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 a household, a husband, a wife that's a team, sure. then you're going to be a great example for the children. I mean, the best thing that you can do for your children, for the youth, for the community is be a great example. That's it. So you can't have a lot of discord and, and frustration and a, and a lot of toxic emotions within your own household sure. and expect to be a good example or a role model for anyone else. I agree with you 100%. So I love what you're saying. Yeah. I absolutely love what you're saying. I agree with you 100%. Saying. But we, a lot of men haven't been taught, so I want to put some steps together. If you don't yes. know what a real man is, this is what a real man does. Um, not just for men, but for young men who are coming up. I go across the country and uh, abroad speaking, and many young men just, they want to get it right, but they just haven't had the right examples. Mm -hmm. That's why I put the book and the workbook together. This is a boy's guide to manhood. Yes. We talk about anger management, time management, making smarter choices, um, health education, character development. And we also have affirmations throughout because I, I believe the tongue is powerful and you got to speak things into existence. Ooh, is the tongue ever so powerful. The tongue can destroy yep. and the tongue can spread love. Sure can. And yeah. I don't think people realize that things that come out of their mouth is just as hurtful as if I was to punch you or hit you physically. So, sure. and, and I'm looking at these chapters, I, I absolutely love it. Um, learning from our mistakes. Yes. Wow. We all make them. We all make mistakes. But what did you learn from? Are you going to continue the same mistakes? I had a young man that, um, you know, I was speaking at a fatherhood conference in Youngstown, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And he came up to me afterwards. He said, you know, I don't have any money. I don't have anything to offer my daughter. I said, you can take your daughter to the park and sit her down and talk to her for free. Right. That doesn't cost anything. Right. He said, oh, I never thought about that. So it's practical solutions. But as men, our, our first job is to provide. And with the economy being the way it is, people losing jobs, those who want to go to work. That's, That's another thing about being men and boys. Men work. That's right. And, and Robert, I tell you, you, you are just hitting so many buttons. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to be right back with Mr. Robert Jackson because he is going to empower you. We'll be right back. Stephanie, you look like a million bucks. Thank you. I won the lottery. So you can shop anywhere. Why household furniture? Before I won the lottery, I was working two jobs, and uh, they financed me, and they really understood my situation. So why would I go anywhere else? So here at Household Furniture, everybody's a winner. Yeah. At Household Furniture, get comfort, quality, and style at monthly payments you can afford. Ask about our in-store financing and cash discounts. Don't make the rental mistake. Come on to Household Furniture. I believe I can achieve greater things. I believe I can balance both work and school. Work in a field I enjoy. Provide more for my family. I believe I can push aside the excuses and start on the career path that I deserve. Believe in yourself, we certainly do. Since we opened our doors in 1902, Harrison College has over 75,000 graduates, offering over 30 programs in a wide variety of fields, including culinary arts, healthcare, IT, veterinary, criminal justice, and business. Career-focused, quality education with a student-centered atmosphere. Enjoy the flexibility of day and evening classes available online or at one of our 12 campuses. Plus, you may be able to receive some form of financial aid. And we have a tuition freeze program, so you have peace of mind when budgeting for your education. We work to connect graduates with potential employers. I called. I made the call. Now it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Start your enrollment today. Classes are forming now. Harrison College, career focused, success driven. Welcome back to Living by Design. We are here with the magnificent Mr. Robert Jackson. So, Robert, now I want to talk about this awesome event. Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to be held May 17th, is that correct? Yeah, May 17th. Tell us all about that. 
Well, we're having a Black Men Stand Conference. We call them Brothers to the Carpet, uh, Iron Sharpens Iron. So we're calling all men, high school, uh, young men, college, and beyond. We're calling you to come to this conference. We plan to have three to 400 uh, men in the conference. We're gonna feed them, we're gonna eat good, uh, but, we're gonna, but more, and more importantly, we're gonna feed them with knowledge. And we're gonna feed them with, with whether it's leadership, accountability, discipline. We're gonna have workshops. We're gonna have keynotes. I mean, it's gonna be an exciting time. It's gonna be from 8:30 to 4, and it's gonna go quick. Yes. But we want to make sure that everybody who comes through that door leaves with something. Yes. So um, we, we're gonna have all kind of workshops on men's health and hygiene. We have a national and local speakers, okay. and it's gonna be an exciting time. We're, we're excited about it. And it's called Iron Sharpens Iron. No, the, the conference is called No More Excuses, Black oh, Men no, Stand Up. Gotcha, but I'm gotcha. just saying Iron Sharpens Iron, oh, so we bring in the men so we can sharpen each other okay, and, this, and challenge each other as and men. And so this is one of the flyers, and, and you can see that you can also go to Robert's website and get all this information, right? Yeah, robertjacksonmotivates.com, but we partner with um, my pastor, uh, Pastor James Anthony Jackson in New Beginnings, awesome. uh, Fellowship Church, uh, Congressman Carson's involved. Uh, we also have uh, Mr. Marcus Robinson, who's um, over Ed Power and Pastor David Hampton, who was at um, Light of the World. So David Hampton is a childhood friend of mine, and this is something that we've been talking about doing for years, and we're excited to be finally bringing it to the surface, and we're doing it here in Indianapolis. So they always talking about Brightwood, talking about the negative aspects of Brightwood. Well, I'm a product of Brightwood, and we're doing a lot of positive work, but we don't hear about that on the news. That's right. That's right. Now, this is for boys, men. What, what's the age range? Well, we're trying to get them at least from age 12 and up. Okay. Um, because we're going to be talking about some, you know, some serious... Uh, issues going on in the community, including male and female relationships. So we're trying to do 12 and up um, because of the legal aspect, but I wish we can get them younger, but at least 12 and up. So we're asking for middle school, upper middle school and high school and beyond. Right. Yeah. And I know you have put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into this event. I have. You put together a superb group that's going to be speaking and and it's going to be interactive I'm sure oh absolutely activities and oh they're going they're going to be getting up doing I'm saying we're not bringing speakers to speak at you we're going to speak to you and and we're going to we, we expect an interaction you, yeah. and we're going to engage and we're going to have all kind of activities for the young men to do so it's going to be exciting and the, we're not asking men to drop their kids off and leave we're asking you to stay amen we having workshops for adult men as well okay now yeah. what about ladies let's say if you're a single mom <laughs> and you want to bring your son how, how, how would that work? We're trying to see, and that's a good question. Thanks for asking that, Kathy. But if there are ladies who want to come in and drop your son off, we are going to have a workshop for women. Okay. So if, they, if women want to stay, um, even though it's a men's conference, if there are some women that need some pointers on, I need to know what to do with this young man, because there are a lot of women raising boys. Yes. So if there are women raising boys, please, from 9 to 11, we're going to have, 9 to 12, I'm sorry, we're going to have activities for the mothers. Awesome. But we're hoping to get the mothers out. Instead of dropping the kids off, we want the mothers to stay, and we're going to do a workshop. They're going to do a workshop with Mr. Jackson. Awesome, Robert. So excited I'm about so it. happy about that because yeah. I get tons of emails sure. and requests and inquiries asking me, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a single parent and I have a son. Sure. And I don't really know what to do. I don't know. I know you're involved with Girl Scouts mm -hmm. of Central Indiana, but what can I get for my son? So I am really glad you're saying this because a lot of people are going to hear this. And please, if you don't hear anything else, hear me when I say, ladies, Take your sons to this Absolutely. event. Absolutely. Even if they don't come, bring your sons right. and drop them off. 830 to 4, they in good hands. But we hear a lot about, you know, mothers complaining. I get the emails. I get the Facebook messages. No excuses. That's no excuses right. why you should not drop your son off for this event. Even if you can't make it, you're busy, you got to get your nails done, your hair done, or whatever you need to do, at least drop your son off. And if you can stay, that would be even better. Amen. Amen, Robert. Yeah. Okay, now, so you're going to have from 12 and up, and are you going to have all of them first off? You're going to speak to everybody at once, and then you're going to have breakout, breakout sessions. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. We're going to have breakout sessions where we're going to talk about fatherhood, discipline, and accountability. Uh, we're going to go through black history because many of us don't know our history. How are you going to know where you're going if you don't know where you're from? Amen. And we're going to bridge the gap between our elders and our young people. So we're going to work on bridging that gap. We're going to be talking about job readiness, college preparation. And we're not just trying to get you into college. We want to talk to you and teach you how to graduate. 68% mm. of our black males that enter college do not graduate. That's tragic. 
We got to teach our young people how to stay in school. So we're going to talk about effective leadership. We're going to talk about male and female relationships. There's going to be booth set up for our vendors. We're going to have several vendors, several organizations out talking if our kids need counseling, uh, job readiness, whatever they need. We're going to have vendors set up in the hall during lunchtime so they can interact with our vendors as well. This is what I'm loving. I'm loving this because, and I, as yeah. I mentioned in the previous segment, there is such a huge sense of entitlement in our community, especially sure. among our young people, and there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. So I love everything you're saying because I'm seeing that you're going to teach them yeah. how to be accountable for yes. their lives. It's not someone else's responsibility. Sure. You have the resources. Sure. So I've got to hold you accountable to That's use it. those resources, implement those resources into your life. And we're going to show them tough love. I came up, I never met my biological father. I grew up in one of the toughest neighborhoods neighborhoods in the Midwest and I still made it because I got my education right and then not only did I get my education I'm reaching back trying to help out others Excellent. to come out of that situation because hurt people hurt people mm. and there's a lot of that. men that are hurt and then they're marrying our women and being abusive uh, both physically and mentally mm. and they're abusing their children because we have not dealt with our own issues i want to challenge men to deal with their own issues and i want to use myself in, as an example i've been through physical abuse i've been through sexual abuse i mean i've been through some bad traumatic situations mm. and i had to learn how to deal with those situations so i can teach other men how to come out and women for that matter. Robert, you're a special person. No. <laughs> you are such a special person because to be so transparent, oh, yeah. because you know it's going to help someone else. When you hear this magnificent individual who is an international speaker to sit here and say what you've been through. Oh, absolutely. You, you got to be transparent. You, I know everyone sees his glory, <laughs> but you're willing to tell your story. And I absolutely. love that about you. Yeah. I really look absolutely. And that's why I put no that excuses. together. Because, I mean, how are we going to help somebody if we can't be transparent exactly. ourselves? Exactly. You know, and, and you know what? I, this is what I'm going to do before we go to break. I am going to challenge everyone. This event on the back small fee just $25 to get into this event I am going to be the first one to buy five tickets and I'm going to sponsor five individuals I want you to do the same match that we're going to be right back we're going to take a quick break and we're going to be have more coming up here on Living by Design Tom, you and I have been customers here at Household Furniture for a long time. Oh yeah, you come out to my house, well, you think you walk into Household Furniture. Okay, so you've got dining room furniture? Yes. Televisions? Yep. Bedroom suits? Yep. And appliances? Yeah. It's all here at Household Furniture. New name brand living room groups, bedroom suits, TVs, and appliances. Plus, ask about our in-store financing and cash discounts. Don't make the rental mistake. Come on to Household Furniture. I believe I can achieve greater things. I believe I can balance both work and school. Work in a field I enjoy. Provide more for my family. I believe I can push aside the excuses and start on the career path that I deserve. Believe in yourself, we certainly do. Since we opened our doors in 1902, Harrison College has over 75,000 graduates, offering over 30 programs in a wide variety of fields, including culinary arts, healthcare, IT, veterinary, criminal justice, and business. Career-focused, quality education with a student-centered atmosphere. Enjoy the flexibility of day and evening classes available online or at one of our 12 campuses. Plus, you may be able to receive some form of financial aid. And we have a tuition freeze program, so you have peace of mind when budgeting for your education. We work to connect graduates with potential employers. I called. I made the call. Now it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Start your enrollment today. Classes are forming now. Harrison College, career focused, success driven. When we were kids, we were told we could be anything we wanted to be when we grew up. But as we got older, we hit roadblocks. Things that once seemed fun started to seem impossible. But somewhere along the way, if we were lucky enough, we found someone who believed in us, who challenged us, who pushed us farther than we ever thought possible. And eventually, we start to believe that we can be anything we want to be when we grow up. 
Training RX Brain Training is clinically proven to dramatically improve the way your brain works. We team you one on one with a personal brain trainer for intense mental exercises, raising IQ an average of 15 points, and improving mental performance in every area of life. Learning RX Serious Brain Training for Serious Results. Hi, we're back, and I am so excited, and I'm so filled up, and I'm just so energized with this interview with this amazing young man because you're doing so much Robert and during the break we talked about how you were preparing for this event sure and you have invested so much of your own money into this event now Mm -hmm. to me that shows massive commitment well you know somebody invested in me I mean I think about you know the late Ralph Dow from Willow Boys and Girls Club who's my mentor I think about uh, Bill Mays who's my mentor Andy Crow these are men who invested in me in this, and, and Ray Satterfield, Bud Myers. I mean, I can keep going. Um, these are individuals who took, a, took their time to raise another man's child. Mm. You know, because I'm not their biological sons, but they treated me like I was. Right. And I feel, like, I feel like I have a responsibility, but because of Facebook, because of, uh, I'm not on Instagram, but I'm on Twitter. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> my, son, my son has an Instagram account. <laughs> but because of these, the social media, I can mentor hundreds of young men and through my messages and through um, those avenues. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Now, Robert, I need to ask you a question because I, sometimes I hear this a lot and then sometimes it just, you know, comes up to the surface in me. Sure. Do you believe that before a man can be a role model or mentor someone else, shouldn't he fix his own issues? I, that's a good question that you asked, Kathy. I believe that everybody has ongoing issues nobody's perfect but God Mm -hmm. so why you going through the process of fixing yourself fix somebody else along the way because I wasn't totally together I'm still not totally together I'm still trying to get myself together but I'm still blessing other people at the same time I feel like it's important to point out there are too many men who are waiting to fix themselves before they start helping out other people no share your experiences learn from your mistakes come out of bad situations and teach other men your age and older or younger how to come out of those situations as well. So I believe you can bless people even while you're going through it. And the reason I ask that is because there are so many rap artists and, you know, all these, they're just not good role models. Well, But then they want to step out there and say, oh, hey, I've got this foundation and that foundation. But I just... In my opinion, I mean, I don't mean to be judgmental, but I just don't know if they are the right role model and they're sending the right messages to our young men. Well, and and, and again, I don't want to judge anybody either because, you know, just because the cameras are not on don't mean somebody's not doing something. They may be doing it behind closed doors. Who knows? But I do believe that it's important to be good role models and you have to lead by example. Right, right. Um, A young man told me last week that Lil Wayne was his role model. I Mm -hmm. said, why? Yeah, yeah. Um, because I like him a lot. I said, when's the last time you talked to him? I believe role models are somebody you can reach out to. True. You could talk to. These are people that you need to get to know on a personal level. Right. I mean, Bill Mays is a role model to me. I know him personally. We right. talk. Ray Satterfield, Andy Crow, some of these gentlemen, and you Bud Myers. And you people home, and you know they're not perfect. Yeah, nobody's perfect. But these guys are role models because they lead by example. They make mistakes. They own up to their mistakes. And I think that's what re- makes you a real man when you own up to your mistakes that's and true. stop hiding behind Amen. them. Amen. That's true. And we have to teach that example to our young men Amen. as well. That is so true. Now, Robert, I know you talked a little bit about your own experience, but mm-hmm. what actually pulled you to this? What, 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 because whenever we answer a calling, we know there's, there's a pull. Sometimes we ignore yeah. it. Yeah. We ignore because I ignored it for 20 plus years. And then I answered the call. So what what was your pull? What was your defining moment that told you, I got to do this? When I got cut from the Minnesota Vikings was my defining moment. Um, I planned on playing in the NFL for 10 years. I only played for 10 minutes, it seemed like. So NFL stands for not for long. Um, oh, my I, God. I believe that I was trying to push the football thing, and God was trying to push his agenda. I was trying to push my own agenda. Mm. And when I finally gave in to God, that's when everything started falling into place. Mm. I mean, because I was tore up when I got cut. I mean, I planned on playing for a long time, and I really love football. It saved me through. It brought me through a lot when I grew up the way I did. And I believe after the fact, I was able to overcome a lot as a man. And God really blessed me tremendously. And I don't even miss it. You know, so that was my defining moment is when I got cut from the team and I was trying to find my place. And I ended up teaching right here at Arlington High School at the same place where we're having a conference because this is where I started my career. 
um, some 15 years ago as a high school teacher and coach here at the school, and I want to bring the conference back here to where I started. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a super-duper story because yeah. my first husband was a professional athlete and that whole thing, so I, I yeah. understand the mindset. I sure. know how difficult that is to just Ooh. put that dream aside. Oh, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, it was tough, but yeah. you know, this is my new dream, and it, and it, and, and when the I'm, going I'm going. Tough, it's tough yeah, to get going. Absolutely, Robert Jackson. And you gotta have the same energy. Yes. Put that same energy toward this. Exactly. Everything that I learned in sports, the discipline, the accountability, everything, I'm doing it now in my professional life and in my personal life with my wife and my children. Excellent. Now, how many children do you have? I have two kids. I have a son and a daughter, and have a beautiful wife at home. So you know. You know, so uh, it's a wonderful family. And we run the business together. We have our ups and downs with the business, but of you know, course. we in it together. Oh, that is amazing, <laughs> Robert. Yeah. I am so proud of you. I, I just I can't say enough about the amazing young man that you have become well, and thank you. and everything that you've been through and you've used that to make you better, not bitter, because yeah. we get so caught up in our pain from our past yep. and it hurts and it's painful and disappointments and like you said, you you wanted to play in the NFL, but that wasn't God's plan. Yeah. And we, we, we want to keep this job, but then we get laid off and we want to stay in this relationship, but then something happens and it goes, and then people get stuck mm -hmm. in that place. Sure. Instead of using that life experience, it's a journey. And I don't believe we have jobs. I believe we have assignments. Ooh. And when that assignment is up, go to the next assignment. Exactly. You know, and, and that's how I look at it. And that assignment was up, so I had to move on to the next assignment. Right. And now in my life, I still have goals and aspirations to do more. I got, I have, a, I'm working on two more books that should be out by the end of this year. Right. I got a female workbook that goes with the male workbook. Awesome. And then I have a book for, for mothers raising boys. Excellent. Coming out by the end Excellent. of this year. And then I plan on writing four more books. As a matter of fact, so now we're going to go over this again. So you go to the website, robertjacksonmotivates.com, and all this information is on your screen. Click so. on Conference 2014 okay. and register as a group or register as individuals for the conference. Okay. Excellent. Absolutely. And we also want you to look at all of Robert's Sponsor. materials, the No More Excuses. This is an excellent resource for everyone. There's also a workbook that goes along with it. We want you to go to the website and purchase these resources, and we definitely want to see you at this event. Again, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to sponsor five individuals, and I want you to match that. I want you to exceed that. I want you to be involved in helping our community to be a better place. Robert, it has been my thank you so absolute much. pleasure. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes. And thank you for the work that you're doing. It doesn't go unnoticed. Yes. I, I know you're out there beating that pavement and, and saving our women, and I appreciate what you're doing. And the same thing with me. I, I walked away, and it was very difficult, even mm -hmm. though it was a choice, but oh, yeah. it was still difficult because sure. I, I had to answer the call. We That's thank it. you so much for joining us for this empowering episode of Living by Design. And I always say, whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're right. Join us next week. I'm Kathy Holloway Hill. Living by Design is sponsored in part by Household Furniture. Don't make the real mistake. Come on to Household Furniture. My name is Robert Jackson. I'm an author and I'm a national speaker. I'm trying to empower our young men to do better. I'm having a conference on May the 17th here at Arlington High School. I challenge you to bring the men out and sign them up for the conference. And I'm living by design.